God. Um, yeah, I want to know about this FedEx thing. Is the FedEx gambling story true? Yes, it's true. So after explain being explain that, explain and that. And there's a quote right here. After being denied a crucial business loan, Frederick Smith, the founder and CEO, Art's father, took the company's last five thousand dollars to Vegas and won twenty seven thousand on blackjack to cover the company's twenty four thousand dollar fuel bill. It kept FedEx alive for one more week. Is that story true? That story is true. Went out and played single deck blackjack. I don't know about the numbers. Um, but that story is absolutely true. He hasn't gambled since then. He took. Talking, he hasn't took, gambled since then. No, he, he, he took the company's last notes. bit of money and gambled it on blackjack and well, reignited his, his, the boys. His, in his mind, they were if if he didn't do something like that, they were done. So, like, what do you have to lose at that point? Like your back's against the wall. So you either got to do something that? to make the that's make the legendary payment. Hey, that's like, that's, that's a bit of a deal. Yeah, yeah, he's got stones. What right? happened in that? Ne- did he ever talk about what happened that next week for him to be able to not have to do that again? It's a great follow up question. You got to ask him. Can, you, we, can call we call him? him? Call him. Give him a shout. Yo, we're talking about FedEx. Like, think uh, about it right now. Oh, I no, the it. company's last bit of money, and you go and deal it on blackjack, and that just resurged what is now known as FedEx. Were you aware that he was doing that at the time? I wasn't alive. Oh, was that long ago? Yeah. Oh, he just had some BDE walking around. Vegas, when, when, when did he start FedEx? 73, officially. <sighs> is this bad podcasting content right here? No, no, no. no. This could all get awesome. cut and moved around. I'm actually really excited to hear yeah. about this. Are you able to put him on speaker? Hey, Dad. You put him on speaker? I'm, I'm good. I'm on this podcast uh, with Taylor and Will, and they you got a question Taylor. for me. I, don't, I wanted the detail, t- uh, so I don't butcher this for you. When you made that trip to Vegas, what what was the how much money did you have and what were you what did you need to make? Ask him ask if you put him on speakerphone. I want to hear his voice. The founder of FedEx. Well it was uh yeah. <laughs> do you want to go on record with this and I put you on speakerphone or would you rather just leave it with me to explain it? Okay, yeah. So you didn't want to get it put on the spot. That's All fair. Right. That's okay, fair. That's, fair. that's fair. That's fair. When he said record, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's a, good a bit point. of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> Boys are going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a thing here. Yeah, he said he's going to go on record. He's going to go on record. Oh, speaker? Oh, let's go. All right. All right. You're on speakerphone. Okay. So what is it you want to know about the famous uh, Las Vegas trip? Okay, so here's here's the here's the story that's out there. After being denied a crucial business loan, Frederick Smith, the founder and CEO, took the company's last five thousand dollars to Vegas and won twenty seven thousand dollars on blackjack to cover the company's twenty four thousand dollar fuel bill. It kept FedEx alive for one more week, and now you are where you are. Well, uh, there is uh, some truth to, to the story, but the way you just uh, described it is, is quite exaggerated. Uh, we played a lot of poker and blackjack in Vietnam. Our battalion Legend. chaplain, uh, Father Vincent Capadano, who was a great man and actually received the Medal of Honor, the only priest to ever, uh, chaplain to ever get it with the Marine Corps. Uh, he used to play with us all the time, and he was a master, so I was a very good blackjack player. And I was hired by a man to fly him to Las Vegas, and he gave me a line of credit for $5,000. So in those days, the casinos had only a single deck. They didn't have multiple decks. So I won $27,000. That is 100% true, but it was not. Uh, it did not save the company. We... We owed a hell of a lot more than twenty four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's a true story, but it gets more and more exaggerated and and more and more dire. But I did win. Actually, I won thirty five thousand, and I lost back down to twenty seven thousand. And I went to bed because I'd been up all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. All right. Well, I appreciate you yeah, telling that. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. I'll call you later. All right. All right, talk to you. Bye. I think it's hey, fair. We all, we all literally leading up the whole time. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, so like, yeah, just a good old true war he story. Goes, he goes, they owed a whole lot more than that. Yeah. So I, I wanted to ask what I did think next, it's fair I feel to like say. We already, I feel like we, I didn't want to dis- like, be like, put him on the spot cool. again. Yeah. No, he, he, I think it's fair to say he awesome. saved the company of FedEx on that Vegas trip. Shout out the boy, Frederick Smith. Good job. Great work.
I mean, you're the first people who technically have gotten him on a podcast. <laughs>